Hi, my name is Michisuke Izaki at Keio University. I lead author of this paper. Today, I would like to share with you our major findings uh, together with Dr. Wataru Kakegawa, the first author of this paper, and Dr. Shinji Matsuda, a co-corresponding author at University of, of Electrocommunications. In the mammalian central nervous system, first excitatory neurotransmission is mediated by glutamate. Glutamate activates AMPOC type glutamate receptors and evokes excitatory postsynaptic current, EPSGs. Increased neural activities induce AMPO receptor exocytosis, which result in long term potentiation, or LTP, of synaptic transmission. Conversely, when AMPA receptors are endocytosed, long-term depression, or LTD, occurs. In the past decades, it has become clear that synaptic plasticity, known as LTP and LTD, are caused by such activity-induced changes in the number of postsynaptic AMPA receptors. However, whether and how LTP and LTD at specific synapses are causally linked to learning and memory at the system level remains to be clarified. To address this question, uh, we have developed a new optogenetic tool, Photon Saber, that targets amperceptor endocytosis and the LTD. First, I'd like to introduce how photon saver works. As acidification of the endosomal lumen is essential for endocytosis and endosomal maturation, we expressed an engineered anabinal sensory rhodopsin, ASR, which enables proton transport from the lumen to the cytosol. To target to early endosome, we fuse the C-terminal cytoplasmic region of chloride channel protein, CLC5. As expected, light stimulation rapidly and reversibly deacidified the endosome and inhibited endocytosis. We named this construct photon saver, photon sensitive ASR based endocytosis regulator. After confirming the performance of photon saver in cultured hippocampal and cerebral neurons, we generated fluxed photon saver mice in which photon saver was knocked in to the ROSA26 locus together with the stop codon flanked by LOXP sites. Finally, to examine the performance of photon saver in vivo, we generated parking cell specific photon saver knocking mice by crossing fluxed photon saver mice with L7 curry mice. At first, we examined how photon saver works in acute cerebral slices by whole cell particle recording. We observed basic properties of synaptic transmission at parallel fiber parking cell synapses. When the conjunctive stimulation consisting of parallel fiber stimuli and direct depolarization of parking cell was applied, robust LTD was induced under the dark condition. However, this LTD was severely disrupted with light conditions. These results indicate that LTD at parallel fiber parking cell synapses can be regulated by photon saver with light. Using these photon saver knocking mice, we examined whether cerebellum dependent motor learning tasks, such as the adaptation of optokinetic response OKR, were regulated by amperoceptor endocytosis and LTD. A checkered pattern screen was repeatedly moved in a horizontal direction by 15 degrees in front of the mice to induce OKR. 
Retinal strip signals are thought to induce synaptic plasticity at parallel fiber Parkinson synapses to adjust eye movement and stabilize visual images. We placed uh, optic fibers above the bilateral flocculi of photon saver knocking mice. While 16 minutes of training increased the OKR gain without light stimulation, the gain increase was significantly impaired with light stimulation. Finally, to confirm the effect of photon saver on amperoceptor endocytosis in vivo during OKR adaptation, we examined the density of amperoceptors in the flocculus using quantitative and highly sensitive SDS digested free structure replica labeling, that is, SDS FRL. We found that the density of amperoceptors decreased at parallel fiber Parkinson's synapses after 16 minutes of training with OKR. However, the OKR induced decrease in amperoceptors was significantly inhibited with fiber optic illumination. Taken together, amperoceptor endocytosis and LTD at parallel fiber Parkinson synapses play a direct role in OKR motor running. In summary, we have developed a new optogenetic tool, Photon Saver, which can control endocytosis at the active synapses, acutely and reversibly inhibits amperoceptor endocytosis during LTD in a light-dependent manner, and inhibits amperoceptor endocytosis and motor learning in Parkinson cells in vivo. Therefore, we believe it is a powerful and useful tool to clarify the direct roles of LTD under physiological and pathological conditions at various synapses in vivo. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.